How the family fortune behind a major American pharma company has quietly funded conservative causes, from the Ambien and Dramamine in millions of bathroom medicine cabinets, to the sugar substitute that makes diet sodas sweet, to the first-ever birth control pill, some of America's most common medicines and supplements can be traced back to the G.D. Searle Pharmaceutical Company. Now, more than a century after the company's founding, the massive family fortune built from those scientific advances has emerged as a major benefactor of the right, mostly out of the public eye, the Searle Freedom Trust, a foundation funded by the company's former chairman, has doled out more than $200 million in grants over the last decade. Sending more money to conservative nonprofits than nearly any other private foundation in recent years, according to a CNN analysis, this year, the Searle Trust is poised to play an even bigger role as it empties out its coffers. Following the wishes of its founder, the late Daniel C. Searle, the trust is closing down in 2025 and planning to award most of its last major grants in 2024. That means a potential windfall during a key election year for groups that push conservative policies. As of the beginning of 2023, according to its most recent tax return, the trust had more than $59 million left to spend, while several of its top beneficiaries are think tanks that have focused on economic policy and loosening government regulations. Others have worked to weaken child labor laws, advocate for stricter voting rules, get affirmative action policies, and push climate change denial. Its recent beneficiaries include a non-profit run by former Trump administration officials that is laying the groundwork for a second Donald Trump term by preparing policy plans and drafting potential executive orders. Researchers who study political nonprofits say that the Searle Trust has had a major impact even as the Searle family has stayed under the radar compared to M.